and it is 5.50 a.m. and we are headed to the hospital with all five kids because, yeah, Paul needs to drive me and that's kind of how it has to work out. So Paul's taking me to the hospital and then he's taking Sadie to her, to her mommy-daughter breakfast thing with our next door neighbor who is coming to help out. It's really early still. And then he's taking Maggie home to get on the bus to go to the school. And then he's taking Tessie to therapy. So he has, you can't even see him, it's so dark in here. Oh, this is on. Oh, now you can't see me at all. So he has a busy morning. I made a list for him. ready to go, I guess. All set up. This is like a warming dress that gets me all warmed up. Here we go. in my clothes. Wait, look at me. Don't tell her! Alright, CVS waiting for Motrin. Patrick? Oh, I can't hear him, buddy, so it's okay. What did you say before that? Yes, I want you to know what mommy and mommy say, but it's so fun. Can you guess what it is? I can't guess. What's mm -hmm. oh, fun? <laughs> it's good. I have to tell you what it is. You boys are so silly. I can tell you what it is. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Let me be surprised. It's only a few more days. And then, can you guess what happened? This is what resting looks like. Yeah, nice. guess what also happened. Is this what resting looks like? Guess what, what also Not, happened. Don't touch my neck, please. He, he was going to say something. He said that with my I was stupid. No one said you were stupid when you were a tiny baby. So Patrick's I, telling me a story about when he was a newborn that he made up. I was tiny when I was walking. No, Mommy, can you know? when I was that was when you were a newborn? It was real. What? It was, that was all real. <laughs> and guess and what, that was awesome. that guess what it. happened oh, to oh, oh, and, so then, so and then nice. you got so the new one. And, 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 and then you got the so, yeah. And then you took me to a movie. So yeah. And that's a movie. Rest. A movie, movie. Here. We're watching Lost in Space. Please stop touching my neck. Hey guys, I am back home from the surgery. I think I already did a little clip of that, but uh, I'm back home from the surgery and I'm cuddled up in my bed and I am still pretty uncomfortable. I am mostly okay as long as I take my Motrin and I don't get up, but when I get up it is pretty not painful, just like super, super, super uncomfortable. So, but my eye, I feel like 
feels like a hundred times better today, which is great because <laughs> it's not, it's nice not to have the eye on top of the surgery discomfort. So anyways, at least the surgery is over and they'll go and biopsy anything. I didn't get to talk to my doctor afterwards. Usually I guess he goes out and talks to your husband and tells him everything, but it was a super busy day. He'd been up in labor and delivery and doing C-sections. He barely made it down to my surgery. And since Paul wasn't there, and pick me up outside he didn't have a chance to talk to Paul so I have no idea like about anything because um, usually he talks to the husbands since I was still kind of out of it not really but kind of out of it when I left and so that is the update on the surgery and the biopsy and then okay so this is the best part Yesterday I talked yesterday I talked about Maggie and how I found out that Maggie had used her iPad, had accessed my through her iPad, she had accessed my phone number um, phone book, had gone through my phone book. Now you have to understand that we didn't really know how much Maggie could read, but in school it's not demonstrably very much. So she got through, she got to my phone book, she went through my phone book, she found her old, an old therapist who she hadn't seen in close to a year now, well since the end of last summer, her therapy ended, and apparently she had been texting her since December. And what's really funny is that she just became Tessie's therapist, and we, we absolutely love her, I mean she is great. And so she had she had like completely forgot about it because it wasn't something Maggie was doing constantly it was like once a week or something like that she would just send her a gif or send her a text now I saw Maggie doing this I'm kind of telling the story again for those of you who didn't watch yesterday's I saw Maggie bring up the text thing and I saw that there was a number and I didn't know that she could text from her iPad because it's I have it like totally locked down but I didn't didn't think she had any phone numbers and so I didn't think she could text anyone and so that I guess I had neglected to do yeah beginner's mistake and so I went over there and looked and saw all these texts and I, I there were some letters but I didn't really pay attention to them I was looking at the gifs and stuff because I didn't think that she could write anything Anyways, so yesterday Tessie had her therapy appointment with this therapist and we went in and I was like, oh my gosh, Maggie texting you and she goes, yeah, she goes, I totally, I did, she goes, I totally knew it was her, she, they were signed Maggie Rose by her iPad and so I knew who it was and I knew it was her and I knew it wasn't you and because I was worried that they like said they were coming from my phone since our accounts were connected, <laughs> she thought I was sending her all this weird stuff. Yeah, and then she meant to bring it up and just kind of kept forgetting about it when we were actually there talking about Tessie and doing all of Tessie's diagnostic stuff. <laughs> Anyways, she said, did you actually read what the text read what the text said? And I was like, I saw the GIFs. Yeah, I looked at them. And she's like, no, did you actually read them? And I was like, read them? And she goes, yeah, read them. And I was like, no, I did not read them. And she goes, yeah, she actually was texting sentences. Like, at one point she texted that she was going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and, yeah. So, she was texting, like, full sentences. So, and it didn't look like it was, like, an auto-text thing, by the way, that she had texted it. And they were, like, full, complete, correct sentences that she had texted. And so, an odd, quirky, maggy sentences. So her OT didn't think that it was, that it looked like it was an autocorrect thing. She was telling me what they said and yeah. So yeah, it looks like our little bunny has been holding out on us, which I, I've long suspected. Like we'll be, she'll be walking by something and she'll like see the word mermaid written somewhere and her little head will, and it'll just be the word, not like a picture or anything. And her little head will whip around and she'll stop and go over and look at the thing that says mermaid. So I've had my suspicions but this is like the first time that it's like conclusive. So today when I was in the hospital, her teacher called to tell me that the Special Olympics thing that she was going to today was canceled. I'm guessing because it's been pouring rain all day. And I told her about it. And so they are gonna be working on some typing stuff with her and seeing how it goes. And we'll see maybe, I'm not sure if she'll cooperate. I think I might try to set it up so that she can text me on her phone and we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll start texting her and see what how it works out anyways so this is going to be kind of just a little post today because yeah i'm pretty much staying in bed i've been 
vlogging. I've been watching YouTube. I've been leaving comments on people's vlogs and I have been watching Lost in Space on Netflix and that is pretty much the day. That is pretty much, oh I'm snuggling under my Pokemon Pikachu blanket. <sighs> Patrick is desperately convinced me to put Pokemon Go back on my phone. When, when we took them out of the schools that they were in before and I wasn't like up in the city all the time, I took it off because there was no Pokemon in our little town and he desperately wants it back on there. Not that he ever played, he just wants to like watch me play. So we'll see. He's like campaigning for it every time we're in the car. That is it for now, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of the things that we have coming up. It's almost summer, and things are so much more fun in the summer. I cannot wait. It's going to be exciting. That's all for now. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.